Hey everyone, what's going on? It is officially the first day of our New York City Half Marathon training block, or at the very least, the first run of the New York City Half Marathon training block for 2022. So it's been cold the last couple days. Uh, it's been in the low 20s every morning when we're taking the dogs out. So it's definitely time to start bundling up as we go for a run. Uh, the nice thing is I do have a treadmill available in the gym if we do need to, you know, ever move things in indoors. And I'll kind of recap the training block again. The it's generally low mileage. I mean, I'm trying to recover from some issues in my ankle where I think I was developing some stress fractures, um, another issue with my meniscus in my knee. So I was trying to build a plan that was fairly low volume, but still effective for getting me, you know, the best out of me right now and preparing me for the New York City Half Marathon. So I'll share the link to the training block in the description of the video here again. It's actually a link that you can pull up in Excel if you want to take a look at the plan or tweak the plan for yourself. I'll link the actual video where I talked about the creation of the plan and where it came from, you know, and all credit to where it originally kind of was sourced from. Um, so take a look at that if you want greater detail, but I will share it again here. You know, with that said, that's really all I have to say this morning. So let's get outside and go for a run. So it's not as cold as this morning, but it's still definitely a cold one today. And I'm sure it's only gonna get colder from here. I think we're out of all the heat waves and unseasonably warm weather, but that's okay. I like running in the cold. It never bothered me. I've always been someone to run through the winter. So it's okay, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm not sure if you caught it before and I'm not sure if I said anything, but today is only a three mile run. So it's gonna be a quick one, but that's the nice thing about this training block is it's a lot of consistent running, but shorter running with some key efforts and workouts built in, as well as some key long run building and pace building on the weekends. So I'm looking forward to it, but definitely weird to be running mostly three miles for the next couple weeks and uh, you know we'll see how it goes we'll definitely see how I perform in the half marathon and we'll learn from it and at the very least I think it should let my body keep healing as far as my ankles and my knees hopefully so we'll definitely see how it goes and I uh, hope you're enjoying following along One thing that I'm going to try and do during this training block is work on my cadence a little bit. I'm not someone who necessarily believes that you have to be so heavily focused on getting to that, you know, 180 steps per minute or anything like that. But I do know that when I was in better shape and racing well in 2019, my cadence was higher than it is now. And I think that has to just do with, uh, doing more speed work and things during that training block. So it should come naturally as I do some more 200s and 400s during this training. But I also just wanna think about it a little bit when I'm on my easy runs, just out for a run in general. Just work on 
getting the feet moving a little bit quicker than I have been as you know I was running again in 2021 so we'll see how that goes just something else I've been thinking about and I'll keep track of a little for myself We got the run done. At least there's some more people here today. We were the only one in this parking lot for the last two times we came on the weekend, but I guess the weather's nice enough for people to come out and it's a nice day overall for a run. I really can't complain. 43 degrees feels good with a hat and just going out for an easy run. So let's get back inside. I'll go over the paces for today and then we'll just wrap it up for this one. But excited again to just be getting this uh, training block started. Okay, so we're back home after finishing our first run of the training block and the pace overall was 930 per mile or just over 930 per mile at about 145 beats per minute as a heart rate. Um, each mile's pace was at 943, 929, and 921. So I get to play around a little bit more with this training block, maybe just go a little bit quicker than I might normally do for my easier runs just because I'm not going to have the abuse on my legs with the higher mileage like the marathon and overall it's just a lower volume so we'll see what i might might have normally done at like a 10 minute down to 9:45 minute uh, per mile run i'm now just playing around in the 930s and we'll see i mean part of it is also that my fitness is just getting better as i continue to run more and more um but you know i just just pushing it just a tiny bit um, and we'll see how that goes overall. But that was the run for today. Um, still, you know, fairly easy, still a fairly easy heart rate for me overall. So, you know, we'll see how that pans out over time. But nonetheless, that's all I'm really gonna share for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you wanna follow along with the New York City Half Marathon training, definitely subscribe down below, leave a like on the video and overall just hope to see you guys in the next video.